Alright guys, we're back and we're going to continue on. Alexa, open the magic door. Sorry guys, I, I took a little nap. That's why I look a little tired. <laughs> I just Welcome took a little back nap. to the garden adventure. So I can tell it went back to where the we left off. The gradually curves away from the wooden fence, but soon runs into an ivy-covered brick wall. The path takes us directly to a curious little wooden door, painted blue, and set inside the wall. It is almost hidden from view by the overgrown ivy. After sweeping away some of the ivy, we find a metal door handle and a big metal keyhole underneath. Should we try to unlock the door, or turn around and go back to the stump? Unlock the door. I take out our blue key and try it in the lock. Wonderful. Now let's open this door. The door opens to a beautifully manicured garden. We pass through the door and walk along a paved brick walkway lined with shade trees, flower beds, and shrubs. The path curves, and we soon see a stone fountain up ahead, set in the center of the brick path. Would you like to check out the fountain, continue on the brick path, or leave and return to the glass bottle? Continue on the path. Okay, let's go around the fountain and continue on the brick path. The path curves again, taking us through mounds of flowering bushes, shaded by a canopy of mature trees. We come upon and pass through a decorative metal arch covered in miniature white roses. And we step into an amazing array of plants. Rows of bright purple lavender line the path on either side. Mixed in with the lavender, we see creeping thyme and silvery clusters of sage. Beyond the lavender, we see tall sprigs of shimmering rosemary, adding even more fragrance to the air. Hmm. Wow. This is a lovely herb garden. As we slow down to enjoy the beauty and scent, we hear something. Should we go toward the music or go back to the fountain? Go toward the music. Okay, let's go. We walk more toward the sound. Now the path is straightening out in front of us and I see a lady sitting on a bench under a tree just off the brick path. She is wearing a long white dress and holding a small harp on her lap. Her hands are plucking the strings of the harp. Hello, Val. Isn't it a nice day for a little music in the park? Should we go closer to the lady, keep walking on the brick path, or return to the fountain? Get closer to the lady. To restart from the beginning or choose another adventure, say start over. Should we go closer to the lady, keep walking on the brick path, or return to the mm. fountain? Get closer to the lady. Okay, let's walk over to the lady with the harp. We walk closer to the lady with the harp. She smiles as she continues to play her harp. But when we reach her, the smile on her face disappears, and she looks at us with a sadness in her eyes. Hello there. Isn't it a nice day for a little music in the park? Have we found it? I don't know. You can say yes or no. Have we found it? Yes. Wait, are you sure? I don't think so. Let me check. No, no harp string. Sorry. That's okay. If you find one, I would really appreciate it if you could bring it here to uh, me. The bluebird has Thanks. it. Would you like to keep walking on the brick path or go back to the fountain? Go back to the fountain. 
Okay, let's leave here and go back to the fountain. Oh! The fountain makes a soothing sound. Alexa, keep walking on the path. Okay, let's go around the fountain. Alexa, continue on the, brick. Continue on the path. That's not something you can do here. Should we go toward the music or go back to the fountain? What? That's interesting. Okay, go back to the fountain. Should we go toward the music or go back to I the said, fountain? Go back to the... Wait. When you're ready to stop playing, you can say stop. Should we go toward the music or go back to the fountain? Go back to the fountain. We turn around and walk along the path back to the fountain. Let's see, because we, we have to follow the bluebird. We have to find her. We have to find her. The fountain makes a soothing sound. Uh, it is made of stone and stands about four feet tall. The water flows out of the top and where falls is into the a shallow basin at the bottom. Ah! Oh, look. The little bluebird we saw earlier is here. She has flown onto the edge of the fountain. And now she's hopping away into the bushes beyond the fountain. Should we follow the bluebird or walk more on the brick path? <laughs> follow the bluebird. Okay, let's follow the bluebird. This thing keeps slipping. Sorry about that, guys. The bluebird hops back into view, heading through a field of grass in front of us. Let's cautiously follow her. We don't want to scare her away. You know, I can see something shiny in the bird's mouth, like a long metal wire, very thin, possibly a string of some kind. But the bird is moving too fast to really see it. Wait, listen. The bluebird hears it too, and she has frozen in her tracks. Oh, look. The noise is coming from that tall cherry tree over there. I see a chipmunk on a branch. Should we go closer to the bluebird or the chipmunk? Get closer to the chipmunk. Okay, let's move closer to the cherry tree where I can see the chipmunk. He seems quite busy up there in the branches. The chipmunk sure sounds busy up there in the tree. What was that? Something has just fallen from up there. Look, it's rolling in front of us. It looks like a cherry. Should I pick up the cherry or leave it on the ground? Pick up the cherry. As I reach down to pick up the cherry, the bluebird flies down to pick it up first. She has landed right in front of us and has dropped the metal string onto the ground. She has replaced it with the cherry and she now is holding that in her mouth. And there she goes. She flies to and lands on the brick path just beyond the cherry tree. I pick up the metal string. Oh, how interesting. I believe this is a string for an instrument. I will keep it safe. Should we go back to the fountain or walk over to the blue bird? Walk over to the blue bird. Okay, we again follow the blue bird. But as we get closer to her, the bird quickly flies ahead of us. We try to follow, but unfortunately we lose sight of her. Okay. However, we do hear pretty sounds nearby. Alexa, follow the music. When you're ready to stop playing, you can say stop. I s Should we go closer to the lady? Oh, okay. Keep walking on the brought it to us. Or return to the fountain? Get closer to the lady. Okay, let's walk over to the lady with the harp. We walk over to the lady and she smiles at us. 
Hello again. I'm so happy you have returned. By any chance, have you found my harp string? Have we found it? Yes. You're right. And I have it right here in my pocket. Look. Thank you so much. How did you find it? I'm very impressed. And now, I can finally play my song. Thank you again for your help. You are welcome to stay here and listen to me play. Or, you may leave this hidden garden if you'd like. Just continue on the brick path toward the big cherry tree. You will find the blue door you entered through. But of course, you are welcome to return here any time for a song. Would you like to stay here and listen to music, walk to the cherry tree, or go back to the fountain? Listen to the music. We'll do that for a little bit. If you would like me to repeat the full oh, scene, whoops. you can say, repeat Alexa, the scene. listen to this music. If you would like me to repeat what? the full scene, you can say, repeat the scene. Would you like to stay here and listen to music, walk to the cherry tree, or go back to the fountain? Stay and listen to music. Okay, let's stay and listen to the lady play her harp. Would you like to stay here and listen to music, walk to the cherry tree, or go back to the so, fountain? Yeah. Walk to the cherry tree. Okay, we say goodbye to the lady and walk further on the brick path toward the cherry tree. We walk until the path ends at a beautiful blooming cherry tree. I can see a few cherries on the cherry tree. They are bright red, but they are very high up. I think only a small creature like a chipmunk or bird could reach them. Beyond the cherry tree and past a patch of green grass, we can see the little blue door we opened earlier to enter this hidden garden. Should we now leave the garden or go back to the lady with the harp? Leave the garden. Okay, let's leave this hidden garden. We cross over the neatly cut grass and pass back through the little blue door in the brick wall. We find the dirt path and walk on it until we again come upon the stump in the glass bottle. Should I pick up the bottle, return to the blue door, or go back to the wooden gate? Pick up the bottle. Should I pick up the bottle, return to the blue door, or go back to the wooden gate? Oh. Pick up the bottle. Okay. I pick up the bottle and take out the paper. The paper has a handwritten message that reads, The princess needs your help. Follow the daisies. Should we look for the daisies or go back to the wooden gate? Follow the daisies. Okay, I see daisies growing a few feet in front of us. They get lost a bit in the tall grass around us, but I spot them again close to the wooden fence. Let's walk toward the fence. We follow the daisies through a break in the fence and into the grove of trees. The line of daisies seems to go on forever through the trees. As we walk along, we hear the sound of water. We follow the daisies down a short hill and directly to a rocky creek. There are boulders making a path through the creek to the other side. The daisies do not cross the creek. They run next to the creek on our side. Peeking out from the daisies next to the creek is a small brown basket. Maybe we should look at the basket. If you want to, say look at the basket. Should we cross on the boulders or stay with the daisies? Stay with the daisies. Okay, we continue to follow the daisies alongside the creek. A scraggly little troll suddenly jumps out from behind a tree and yells. Stop, travelers. You must answer my riddle correctly, or you shall not pass. Should we talk to the troll or turn around and run? Talk to the troll. Okay, I tell the troll that we will try to answer his riddle. 
He excitedly claps his hands and jumps happily in the air. Perfect! Now listen carefully. What fancy hat sits proudly on your head but can't protect you from rain or sun? Do you know the answer? A crown. The troll jumps with glee again. Correct! He bows to us and bids us farewell as we continue on the path of daisies. The path takes us into a patch of clover. Listen, do you hear someone crying? We look around and see a young woman sitting in the clover with her head down. She calls to us and we run to her. I am Princess Daisy, and I have lost my crown. Should we help the princess or continue walking past her? Help the princess. Okay, I tell the princess we will help her and she stops crying. She stands up and explains that she set her crown down on a nearby rock when she stopped here to look for four-leaf clovers. When she returned to the rock, her crown was gone. She has looked for hours and cannot find it. Tonight is the annual royal ball, and she must wear her crown. Should we look for it here in the clover or go back to the troll? Go back to the troll. Okay, we return to the daisy path, where we hear giggling. The troll suddenly appears again. Travelers, answer my next riddle correctly, and you will have what you are looking for. When three becomes four, what little green plant is struck with luck? Clover. Yes, how smart you are. He reaches into his burlap sack and pulls out a shiny gold crown. He hands it to you, and we quickly return to the clover to find the princess. She is ecstatic when she sees the crown. You hand her the crown, and she hands us a small pink box. I wonder what's inside. Now come with me to the royal ball. We must hurry. It starts very soon. Should we go with the princess, or go back to the wooden gate? Open the box. Okay, you open the pink box. Inside of it is a pink egg. The egg pops open. Hmm, there is a tiny note inside. It reads, the code for the clock door is hidden in the desk inside the tower. And then, before I can pocket the note, it disappears, poof, in a tiny puff of smoke. Oh, well, I take the pink egg and keep it for the rabbit. Should we go with the princess or go back to the wooden gate? Go with the princess. She is very excited that we have decided to go with her. We all walk together, briskly, past the clover and into a dense forest. It is dark now, but we soon see lights and hear music. The forest ends, and before us stands a stone castle. The princess leads us through the front gates and into a courtyard. In the courtyard, we see the rabbit from the garden sitting on a bench. The princess runs past the rabbit and places the crown on her head. She goes straight through the main castle door. The castle door then shuts in front of us. It is now the magic door and we have reached the end of this adventure. Would you like to open the magic door or talk to the rabbit? Open the magic door. The door is open. A new adventure Alexa, wins. stop. Okay, goodbye. In the wizard adventure, you can meet the wizard and travel through time. For details, visit us at facebook.com slash Alexa Magic Door. All right, guys. So that was the, that's part of the garden adventure. Um, so we will continue the garden adventure. Now, part of this stuff will have to be the same stuff in it because, you know, but you already have the first egg. So the egg that's actually for the rabbit. Um, so, yeah. So let's go and continue the Easter egg hunt. Alexa, open the magic door. Alexa, welcome. go to the mountains. We walk toward the mountains. There is a fork in the road leading to two paths. One is a dirt path leading into the forest. Another is a stone path leading to a flower garden. 
Would you like to take the forest path or the garden path? The garden path. Okay, follow me into the flower garden. Let's walk on the stone path. The path wanders past colorful flowers and takes a turn, leading to a wooden fence with an open gate. I think we a fuzzy all white rabbit sits next to the gate. Should we go through the gate, stay in the garden, or talk to the rabbit? Stay with in the garden. Okay, we will stay in the garden. There are lovely flowers and lush bushes all around us. So I need four more we see a five more eggs, path actually. directly in front of us heading through the flowers. We also see a beautiful rose garden off to the right. Should we take the dirt path or go into the rose garden? We could also go back to the wooden gate. Go into the rose garden. Okay, we see a gravel path going into the rose garden and we walk on it together. The path leads us through a garden of colorful and fragrant Alexa. And red roses. Look at the basket. If you would like me to repeat oh, the full okay. scene, My bad. you can say, repeat I the scene. We had to go to the basket, would that? you like to go back to the wooden gate or go back to the dirt path? Go back to the dirt path. Okay, we head back through the roses. We see a dirt path directly in front of us heading through the flowers. We also see a beautiful rose garden off to the right. Should we take the dirt path or go into the rose garden? We could also go back to the wooden gate. Stay on the dirt path. When you're ready to stop playing, you can say stop. What? Should we take the dirt path Alexa, or go into the rose garden? Take the dirt path. Let's walk on the dirt path together. Here we go. Look, in the middle of the path is a large stump. On it sits a glass bottle with a piece of paper inside. So guys, as you we can also see. notice a bluebird fly past us and land on the dirt path farther up ahead. Should I pick up the bottle or should we keep walking on the path? Continue walking on the path. We continue walking on the dirt path and the little bluebird on the path flies way ahead of us as we walk. The path gradually curves away from the wooden fence, but soon runs into an ivy-covered brick wall. The path takes us directly to a curious little wooden door, painted blue, and set inside the wall. It is almost hidden from view by the overgrown ivy. After sweeping away some of the ivy, we find a metal door handle and a big metal keyhole underneath. Should we try to unlock the door or turn around and go back to the stump? Okay, go back to the stump. Okay, let's return to the glass In order, we have, to find, we have to open the glass bottle and have to do the, that thing again, so. Before long, we again find the stump with the bottle on it. Should I pick up the bottle, return to the blue door, or go back to the wooden gate? Should I pick up the bottle, return to the blue door, or go back to the wooden gate? Alexa, restart. Are you sure you would like to return to the beginning of the magic door? Yes.